So given that the CIO is really worrying about uh, cybersecurity, mm -hmm. I would love your informed opinion. Like, what does it take to keep our data safe at that level, and do we have everything in place uh, that we need? How close are we to being safe? Yeah, I think it, it, this is one of the uh, topics of our talks, right? The cover of Fortune today, uh, right now, as we're here, is about this topic with some of the private sector folks. You know, when I was in Silicon Valley, we had lots of these challenges. We're having them in the federal government. Uh, so how are we approaching these? Uh, Tony and the team are doing an extraordinary job. There's, I mean, across the country, we have top talent working on this, uh, and that's true. We need to upgrade a lot of systems. One of the things the president is doing in general is has, we've created the United States Digital Service, which is how to bring more technical leadership from kind of the Silicon Valley, the tech sector uh, of America into government. And so that's true. In cyber, we already have extraordinary people need to keep adding to that. The companies need to keep pushing that. The president had a summit in, uh, earlier this year on cybersecurity, huge area to work on. There's both the immediate work, Tony has a cyber sprint going on, et cetera, but there's also the, how do we get more of our youth interested in this topic? It's a great service thing to protect people. Mm -hmm. uh, how do we get more diverse talent across the board? The challenges come from all over the place. Some of them from, are from national actors, some are from criminal actors. Uh, how are we being the most creative mm -hmm. that we can and taking as many American youth and anybody in on the game? Mm -hmm. So it, this is part of the question, which is, uh, it's something I observe coming in. You know, we have, across the government, we have elite principals in all the sectors, like the Surgeon General or the CDC lead for medical, or uh, judges, you know, Supreme Court or, or any of our leadership's DOJ, um, lawyers, speech writers, all of, I call it like, TQ, like tech, like EQ, IQ, TQ. Yeah. They're sort of humanities Q, science and med Q. But the TQ, the digital people, haven't been at the principal level. So the president with the CTO's office and now the United States Digital Service, getting leaders who are fluent in digital technologies into the leadership positions in government so that we can be looking at uh, technology as in, you know, have technologists in our policy conversations as well as economists and lawyers and others right. at the principal's table when we're deciding net neutrality, when we're deciding encryption, right. when we're deciding about patents, but also when we're purchasing. You know, most of the federal technology should be made by outside people. It should be either off the shelf or custom or however that is, the, the government isn't here to build tech. Uh, uh, but we should be having really informed technical folks in the architecture side and the purchasing decisions together with fabulous uh, eGov teammates on the purchasing side.